Okay, my mic is on, everything's on, perfect. In, uh, let's see. In January 2022, two business partners in Poland were traveling and they were at a hotel on a business trip together and only one of them survived the massacre from an unknown murder and it's only by sheer luck that he survived Warren Schneider and John Hamilton had booked a hotel for their business trip and been staying there for three days on the second day, everything went as planned. But on the third day, an unknown suspect came and and one second, my mic keeps going off for what the frick? Okay, there it goes. John Hamilton and Warren Schneider were targeted by an unknown suspect. Here's the story. Quick lag clear, just to make sure. Oops, I keep doing that stupid thing. It's stupid. It's just stupid. This is starting on like the first day when nothing really went wrong, or the second day when nothing went wrong. Warren, I'm home. I'm going to use the card, just so you know, I'm home. Warren, are you here? Uh, yeah, I'm here. Just checking my email. Perfect. I'm going to drop this key card. And put it on the end of my bed. Good idea. Uh, it's a good to lay down for a long day of work. Again, a lag clear. Just get rid of this. We're not going to need it for the rest of the video. Oh, what a nice evening. Yeah. Hey, will you get the uh, remote and turn the TV on? Great idea. Oops, dropped my phone. Dropped it. And
and what do you want to watch? I don't know, just any garbage TV type stuff. Doesn't matter. Yeah. And now, producing the latest hit TV shows. This is Gambling with Ross. Welcome to People Lose Money. Whoever loses the most money will win the grand prize of a solid block of gold at their mansion. Hey, since you have the phone, order some room service for us. Oh yeah, huh, good idea. You have the hotel's number, right? Yep. They want us to use that old trashy landline, but I don't see the point. Hello, hotel service. How may we help you? Uh, yeah, hi. I'm coming call from room 119. I would like an order of flaming ons and some tea and an apple. Thank you. Room service coming right up. You're welcome. All right, thanks. Bye. Did you order? Yep, I did. They said it would be on the way. second Yo, I'm coming with the room service. Come in, the door's unlocked. All right, where do I put the meal? You know, since it's on a plate, just leave it on the floor and then we'll come get it. Mm, sounds good to me. Oops, I forgot to do this part. We left a note on the floor, our payment. Oh, so you're one of those people that just leaves all of the stuff on the floor, huh? Well, thanks, anyway. So I'm just going to leave this here and go away. (sighs) 
Well, let's go eat, man. Yeah, let's. Yeah, before that dinner gets cold, I wouldn't want to miss filet mignon. Well, we could have just heated it back up. Did you shut off the television? No, but what? we can watch it while we eat. Oh yeah, that is true, huh? All right, come on, Warren, we gotta eat. Let's see how good these filet mignons actually taste. This is a five star hotel, so they should be pretty good. They should have good food here. Well, of course they do. It's a business class hotel. Come on now. It really is good. Fast forward till after they finish the filet mignons. Oh man, that food was really, really good. Yeah, especially the tea. I loved that tea. Yeah, the tea was great as well. Hey, you know what? A toast. Fetch the bottle of water. I will. Here, let me pour for you, brother. Alright, and as a symbol of politeness, I will pour for you. A toast to many years of a successful business as business partners. Cheers. Well, let's go to bed.
Yeah, let's. Day after that. Knock, knock, knock. Actually, you know what? Uh, Warren, I forgot the key card. Can you come let me in? Did I hear you say something? Oh, hold on. I'm coming to come open the door for you. Oh, I forgot this. Did not mean to do that. Um, I'm coming to let you let you in. Great. Say good night, buddy. No. Why am I being s stabbed? What the frick? Finally, he died. Ugh. I'm coming in. Um, hello? Why are you... Wait a minute, why are you holding a knife? Uh, you're not gonna... No. I'm calling the cops. You don't have time for that. Finally. Now I'm gonna go steal everything they have. What is all of the commotion? No, a dead body? I thought I saw someone come in here earlier. I've been hearing about a murderer around recently. There's gotta be a phone in this house somewhere. 
I just hope the murderer still isn't in the house. Oh, dang it, he is. I still gotta just sneak around him. He's too busy looking at this guy's wallet. So I should be able to go and... Yes, there's the phone. Whoops. Did not want this to happen in the storyline. Mellon Police Department, how many of you? Hey, there's a dead body in the house and I suspect there might be like a murder or something in the house. I, I, I saw him and I, I just don't know what to do. Where are you? What are your clothes? Um, um, I'm wearing a hotel service uniform. Okay, we'll be there right away. What's the location? Mellon Hotel. I suspected someone might have come in after me. Little did I know how right I was. You. Why did you kill the people in this house or hotel room? I'm a serial killer idiot. That's what serial killers do. I'm bleeding. Yep, that's what you do when you're stabbed. Now time to get out of here with all his valuables. Mellon State De Police Department, come out with your hands up. Oh, this wants to die tonight. How lovely. Officer, I don't believe we've met. Yes, finally, the city killer has been killed. Mission complete, boss. Good, get back to the station, get yourself some donuts and coffee, and take a break. Yes, sir. <laughs>